Hello. How's everybody doing? Hope people are doing good. So, uh I got to I got to put the put the game on now. Would you look at that? The game's here. I have to unmute the game on my end because uh if it was unmuted, the music would get incredibly overpowered by this song. Which is is a banger, I will say. It's a, it's a banger. Uh Yo. It does begin. Uh, we vibing? Good. Good. Glad to see people are vibing. All right. Does everything sound okay? I need to make sure before we start. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the good old Furret Walk song. See, I was, I wasn't, well, Aqua, I wasn't going to start, like, right away. I was actually going to wait for a few people to get in, uh, just to make sure things sound good. So, yeah, um, game's quiet. Okay, I can turn it up. I'll turn it up just a bit. How's that? Is that better? See, uh, I was scared that I was going to have to start late because uh, when I was trying to fit chat into the layout, uh, chat just got very wide for a second. And I was, uh, yeah, uh, I was really scared uh, because I didn't want you guys to be like incredibly wide in like whenever we had to do highlights. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so... I guess I should give a bit of context, uh, just about, uh, about Danganronpa and my history with Danganronpa. Uh, so, I don't know if I've told the story on the podcast or not, but, uh, some people know the story about me with Danganronpa, but for other people's sake, I, I will, I will tell the story. So, when it was, I think... December or January of 2020 or 2021, about there, uh, around that time period, uh, that I had gotten Danganronpa 1 and 2. So I have the second game if something happens to the point where I have to play the second game on stream. Uh, I have the second game to play. I don't have the third one, but I do have the second one. Um, to where I was like, man, I really want to start Danganronpa because uh, the game looks cool. And I really like, I, I, to a point, I really like the art style. Uh, I've kind of soured on it a little bit over time. But, um, so, I was like, yeah, I really want to play this. So, I got through the first case, and I was like, man, I really don't like this game. Um, and, like, I don't think the game is bad, because I don't really say, say that a lot about games. Like, whether or not a game is good or bad. I just say I don't really like it or I like it. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't a huge um, huge fan of Danganronpa after the first case. So, going into this, I've already seen the first case. So, it's going to be a little bit of a, like, oh, hey, I kind of know what I'm doing. Because uh, it's, it's, it's been a while, but I remember the gist of everything. Kind of. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the story of me with Danganronpa. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I know there are people who really like it, and I'm gonna hope to make it enjoyable. Um, but also, once again, thank you guys for helping us reach a thousand subscribers. So I have to play this game. Um, and I, I think it's funny because like, everybody's like, "Yeah, this is this is like the bane of Colin's existence." It really isn't. Like I haven't really phrase it as that i was just like i'll play danganronpa if we hit a thousand why not um but yeah so i guess we should start um i don't know if it's gonna play the intro uh at the the if i hit new game but who knows 
So, maybe I should tab into the game. I think that'd be a good idea. All right. You guys ready to go? Yes. Hold on, let me... I do this in every game where I always go through my sound settings just to make sure things are good. All right, cool. Uh, I am playing this game on keyboard and mouse. I did decide to play... No, I didn't decide to play P4G. Um, I decided... that was a, I think it was after P4G. Because um, I think it was... Um, it was Yakuza 0 that I dropped to play P4G. So yeah, alright. Without further ado, let's play the game. Let's, let's do some gaming, guys. We're gonna do English, so we get to hear... Uh, we get to hear Bryce, uh, <laughs> Bryce Pappenbrook, because he is in this game. Uh, I can hear Nick screaming at that right now. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do kind because I don't want to be here for ages. Um, so, yeah. Now, I do remember this. Yes, Bryce is in this game. Yeah, I once again, um, I probably should have said this before we started the game. Uh, brief warning, this game does have a lot of graphic content and stuff like that. So if you're not a big fan of that, uh, then I would... Yeah, like that. Um, yeah, I would kind of recommend either tabbing off for a bit. And I'll, and I'll, I'll give warnings for when it's about to happen, but... Um, or from what I remember about to happen, uh, especially for this first case. Um, so yeah. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Oh, that's a mouse click, oops. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. That is a JPEG. <laughs> That was very low res for a second. All right. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Yes, it is good that you don't know who Bryce Pappenbrook is. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Sorry, sometimes I just stutter a lot, so don't make fun of me if I'm if I stutter while reading. We do love JPEG Simulator. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One. You have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me, Bryce Pappenbrook himself. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Hey, Nick, how do you feel that um, Bryce Pappenbrook uh, plays somebody named Makoto? Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me, or going for me, when it comes to my uh, to grades, special abilities, even personality. 
I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and, and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average... Uh, even among the average, I'm completely... Wait, <laughs> even among the average, I'm completely average. Okay, that's a sentence. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Wait a minute, this is just... This is just Deku from My Hero. Nick, this is just Deku. This is just Deku in the first, like, episode of My Hero. Wow. Nick, you're gonna love this game. Anyway, I figure <laughs> it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But, you know, if you have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Bro, this is, he, he does say average a lot. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing in front of any of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What, what you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Jeez. <laughs> this game is dated. <laughs> okay. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some, uh, some of those threads. All I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Show that is a face. Um, kinda. To be fair, it is a visual novel, so it's kinda hard to to uh, not narrate a lot of the stuff that's going on in their head. But I don't remember, honestly. It's been a minute. This is this is a visual dictionary. <laughs> All right. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to have to take a, a drink of water because I'm having to do a lot of reading. I remember this game being voiced. But not a lot, apparently. I also think it's very heavy in this first bit, but also it's been like two and a half years since I played this game. Anyway, he was the cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eye on him. Oh God! <laughs> was not expecting that. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Exposition, 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 exposition. <laughs> She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. You sure about that? Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's... <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Alright, anyway. <laughs> I'm getting tired of reading, okay? Even my body doesn't want me to play this game. Man. I mean, you say that's literally just on, but she came before on. Like, almost five years before on. <laughs> 
just oh this one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. She is a character. All right, on top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, ultimate fanfic creator, that is a thing, and the ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. It, I felt like a, like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. Man. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. <laughs> no, he's not gonna be the ultimate average. Biker gang leader, gambler in high school? I mean... I mean... <sighs> Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna keep going. Uh, <laughs> but then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything like that? Bro, I wish. <sighs> but they, I know for a fact they are not. I thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. Trust me, I know. I'm giving you personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average... Hey, add that to the average counter. Nick, am I editing these highlights? Or is that going to be Ela? I'll let him answer in a second. Average, uh, average student like me get picked to... <clears throat> get picked... To come to this ultimate high school. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. My stream, my highlights? All right. I spelled it out, uh, spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Oof. Hey, I was working on those highlights today. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter, letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the hall, in the, ma or in the main hall, at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. And then he tripped and died. Roll credits. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the over in the corner. It says 7:10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Does anybody else see that really weird pause between m, like the m in minutes, and the rest of the word? Or is that just me? Like. Is there just a really weird space there? Cause that look that just looks really weird. <laughs> it makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around keep waiting isn't exactly 
I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a, at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What the? But then... Or, oh, oops. But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. He has taken, like, a lot of first steps. He was like, all right, let's take my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. And then he was like, wait, there's no one here. And he was like, all right, I'm going to take another step into Hope's Peak Academy. And then a JPEG appeared. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized... The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Hoo boy. Welcome to despair. Prologue. Wahoo. Hoo boy. Guys, we gotta save. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> there it is! There's my first ever save file, guys! Man, we're going to save over that. <laughs> All right, please give me voice acting. Please give me voice acting. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. Ah, uh, please give me voice acting at some point. I'm getting tired of reading. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to, <laughs> to zonk off? What is that? I've never heard that. <laughs> to zonk off in the middle of, of some boring class or whatever. What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Yo, I love Ace Attorney too. Yeah, he was. He was voiced for not even a sentence. It wasn't even a full word. It was like literally a sound. He made a single sound. Bryce Pappenbrook made one sound and then was like, all right, I'm done. Can you guys pay me now? Hey Nick, that was uh that was your choice. Anyway, welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, I hate firstly. I've always hated firstly. I've never liked it. I think it's really bad. Anyway, firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Who boy? You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you, aim, if you aim at an object you can interact it uh, you can interact with you can press the left mouse button and presto you'll investigate that object use the, use the WASD buttons to I didn't think those were buttons all right to adjust your view, uh, viewpoint or you can press and hold the hold the right mouse button that okay that there's another one of those weird like pauses it it's longer than a normal pause because i'm I, i'm because I'm, I'm looking at the other ones and it's a bit longer the right hold the right mouse button i don't i've never seen that before um uh move the mouse around wait why is the m why is the <laughs> guys m mouse m mouse M-Ouse. 
Why don't you try looking uh, around the classroom? Oh my. Oh yeah, yup, I remember this. Yeah. Also, those are nails. Like, those are, like, th those aren't nails, those are screws. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. <laughs> what the heck? In any normal crap, uh, in any normal crap, in any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, M house. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. <laughs> Tempted to make that my uh, my Twitter banner. <laughs> Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Man said, yo, I gotta check to see if it's metal first before I understand what why they're here. Um, I think they're 3D models. Because they they look like very early 2010s 3D models. <laughs> anyway. That's a camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Man said weirdos. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Thanks for that information. That is, that is like weird printed wallpaper. Have fun with the lightning temple boss, Nick. It's not fun. I'll have to clean that up later. <laughs> hey, what's on the, what's on the, or what's that on the desk? Guys, I can't read sometimes. I just, <sighs> sometimes I'll, one day, one day I will learn to both read and speak. I don't think the world will be able to, to handle me then. We've been going for 30 minutes? Okay, we gotta go. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? No, the clock's broken. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. <laughs> that did not take 50 minutes. No, it did not. It took approximately two seconds. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. <laughs> okay, why did they refer to it as why did they refer to WASD as buttons and then the R key as a key? It's a key. That's <sighs> I don't understand this game sometimes. <laughs> There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Oh boy. Guys, I wonder what's wrong with this. I wonder what's wrong with this school. Almost like there's, you know, bolted windows, a surveillance camera, all this type of stuff. Hmm. One moment.
Sorry about that. I had to turn my fan on. It's getting very warm in my room. Leave the area? Please, get me out of here. <laughs> get, get me out. Hey, I know this song. Guys, this is the Among Us song. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. I keep pressing the enter key to progress dialogue, and I forget that it's the mouse. I hate that. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Oh, and now they refer to it as... <laughs> now they refer to it as keys. It's the Among Us song! Oh, we can run? Also, you can press the tab key to bring up... Oh, wow! Guys, I have a map! I can't believe it! Hey, Nick. My hero reference. If you're still here, did you look at that? It's, a, it's my hero reference. Who oh boy. Also, um... For people who get easily motion sick, I'm very sorry for what is about to happen because uh, I am playing with keyboard and mouse and there are 3D sections to this game and it is not fun sometimes. So I'm going to try to move as slowly as possible for people who are who do get motion sick easily just so I'm not, you know, making people die. Anyway, hey, there's more bolted windows Woo! I wonder why there's a gate here yeah I wonder why there is a gate here I also wonder why there are bolted windows and why this hallway is yellow yeah I know I like I know there's voice acting wait it's yellow now it's green and then it's purple down th what is these hall why who designed this who did this? Anyway, um, what is this place? The school store. I guess it's not open. Really? I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move around. I did just throw a question mark, yes. Oh boy, we're going into a room. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone was already there. Whoa, hey. Another new kid? Hey guys, would you look at that? They're all anime protagonists. Woo! <laughs> yeah! I love anime. Wait, is it just gonna. Is it just gonna, like, infinitely pan? This is a Joker uh, color scheme? I mean, yeah, minus the yellow. Oh, oh, it is. It is just going to permanently pan. Okay, that's, that's really funny. Anyway, guys. We finally got to voice acting. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Yo, Seems yo, like a good Junko place, in chat? I wonder if this is wow. everyone. I can't believe it. <laughs> she broke the game. She broke out of the game and came to chat. <laughs> Standing before me were the ultimate students that... Is it just going to keep panning? It's just going to keep panning. Okay. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everybody or everyone who had gathered there. Taking in their faces one at a time. Really? I can't tell. <laughs> Guys, I have to I have to make sure I know every single detail of everyone's faces while we infinitely pan here. <laughs> Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Alright. Those are those are guns. Those are guns. Alright. I, 
you know, it's funny. I have all these reactions, yet I've played this before. I played this part of the. I've played this part of the game before. I, I literally played it like two years ago, but I just don't remember half of all. What like, half of this? Like I remember the beginning, where you go in, where he takes the seven first steps, and then it's just black until like the entire, uh, like the first like trial thing. Like that's it. Like it's it. I don't remember anything. So yeah. Anyway. Um. How, did he say that? Nope. No, he didn't. <laughs> Awesome. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curi curiouser and curiouser? That's a, that's a, that's a word? Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Guys, he said indeed. Mark that off, the games that say indeed counter. <laughs> what did I say counter? I meant list. Once again, one day I'll learn how to speak, and then I don't think the world will ever, ever stop me. Anyway. Um, what are you talking about? Honest, I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was a shake! <laughs> See, I do remember this guy. Anyway. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? Hey, Junko, look, it's you. You're on, you're on screen. <laughs> you somehow broke out of the game, and you're on screen now. <laughs> What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and, uh, and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good... It, but it may be good to at least find out who we all, who we all are <laughs> before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's just best to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance, a good, uh, good a chance as I'm going to get. I already looked at, looked at everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what to think of people they actually are. I literally can't read. Jeez. I'm going to, I'm going to redo that guys. Um, I'll make myself look really dumb in the highlights. Don't worry guys. We got this. All right. I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. They just bounced. Yeah, I don't know if that is a good thing or not. Anyway, I'll, so I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at the student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Cool. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Cool. Jeez. Hold on, but first, I gotta see what the guns are. <laughs> that, surveillance, that surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun. Right? <laughs> no, it's definitely a real gun. Anyway, we're gonna talk to... We're gonna talk to uh, this guy first. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you wanna call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I didn't have to read. Guys, it's 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 great. There he is. He's the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. 
Also, definitely not a Discord mod. Anyway, um, by the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. That, that has some menace behind it. <laughs> world of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well-known and supremely well-regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Nice work, Nick. Also, Ricky, you clearly underestimate middle schoolers. <laughs> yeah, especially in 2014. Like, middle schoolers in 2014 were unhinged, but middle schoolers now are even more unhinged. Yeah, no, it's a hard boss, especially when you have, like, five or six hearts. So, yeah, and it just one-shots you immediately. Anyway, back to the game. We'll talk about Tears of the Kingdom later. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, but tell me he doesn't look like a Discord mod! Like, tell me he doesn't! Anyway, I once sold a. I once sold 10,000 copies of my. <clears throat> Time to take another drink of water, everybody. Um. Everyone, uh, this is your reminder to stay hydrated. Actually, give me one moment. Sorry about that. Man. N Nick, you didn't have to kill him like that. Anyway. I once sold 10,000 copies of my of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? He seems like the guy who would say he looks like Joker from Persona 5. You are so right, though. <laughs> Guys, um, I, I hate to break it to you, but to be honest, I do just kind of look like Joker from Persona 5. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just that character now. Aw. <laughs> All right. That's too bad about, that, that's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. Definitely pretty remarkable. That was sentence. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier. <laughs> this dude did not just say, I am a soldier. <laughs> I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I don't know why I gave a lot of oomph into that line, but I just thought it would be really funny. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, it's about embracing our basest, basest <laughs> guys. <laughs> instead of guys, instead of saying based, what if we said basest now? <laughs> I don't think I want to comprehend it, bro. Tell me not. Tell me he's not. Tell me he's not. Tell me he's not. Anyway. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I'm getting Mineta vibes, man. Hmm. 
listen, I'm not gonna go full performance on this on this game, okay? That that would put that would be too much effort that I don't want to put into this game. All right. Ultimate Mortal Compass. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honors student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Do you hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy's kind of annoying. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right. Okay. You. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking, talking and launched her literary career. And two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit that... that Cool. Okay. Once again, guys, it is time to take a drink of water. <laughs> Why did I choose... Nick? Nick? No. Nick? Bad Nick. Bad Nick. Anyway. <laughs> Steven, I don't know if that's referring to to Taka or uh or Toko. <laughs> yes, they are. They are in fact uh they are in fact uh uh children. Just just a reminder. They are canonically high school kids. Don't say anything that would be bad, okay? We're not, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything else aside from that. All right. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the t shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Okay. Despite her age, she won countless literary pr uh, prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I but I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What uh, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all? What's your problem? Nick I'm gonna say this again. Stop. <laughs> Bad Nick. <laughs> Bad Nick. <laughs> With more mental stability so far. <laughs> Nick, stop. Just, just stop. This is, th okay, you know what? At this point, this is my channel now. So no, you're not going to say that stuff, Nick. <laughs> stop. I'm taking control of the channel for this. I think we will all bonk Nick at Momocon. <laughs> with a roll of newspaper gently? No, I'm not hitting him with I'm not hitting him with a roll of newspaper gently. No, he is getting smacked like immediately. <laughs> anyway. What the heck? 
Well, that was violent. Don't hate the player, hate the game. One, you're not playing the game. Second, your observation was about a character that you simped for in DDLC. Who I'm pretty sure was also a high schooler. Nick, I think the slice of life anime is getting to you. I think you need uh Yeah, you are making it worse. You are making it worse for yourself. Um I think I think you might need to to you know not do that uh, and 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 cleanse yourself of the slice of life by watching a bit of One Piece. I think it will help you very much so. Anyway, this is your reminder, watch One Piece. So okay. All right. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy uh, filthy creature. F filthy creature? No, I just thought I, I know what you just thought. You th you just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Nick, I'm not even going to Momocon and I even want to bonk you. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll bonk him enough. Honorary bonk from Steven. N no, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying... Don't bother trying to lie to me. Oh boy, it's this character. <laughs> Wait, is that... Oh, hi, Luna. How are you? Luna, isn't it late for you? <laughs> anyway... Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what, what a successful author would be like. Hey, maybe you shouldn't, uh, maybe, maybe you just shouldn't, like, assume what people are like based off of their work. Okay, that's not bad. You've stayed up until one in the morning talking to us before, so that's fine. All right. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Why is he doing that? Like, why is he so angry? <laughs> I was slandering hours, I am a... Man! <laughs> that is... Th this is gonna be an... Am I about to witness a fight? I'm so... I'm ready. I, I would really want to see a fight, be fight between Luna and Nick. I think it'd be really funny. <laughs> Man's itching for a fight. Whoa. Okay, it's Kirishima with a goatee. Nick is gonna compare all of these characters to a my to a my hero character. Yeah, why is he wearing a beard ring? <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. All right. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And let, true, Luna is a lover and not a fighter unless it's with a unless it's with a moth. <laughs> Luna wants to eradicate all moths. Huh? huh? What's wrong? N nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head. No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that or when I found that article and a picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found the picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I like I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I don't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head is 
your head like that is part of the or part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? Why is he doing that? So yeah, something something moths don't vibe. That's so true. I don't want to eradicate moths. I have to. It's my civic duty. Yeah. Moths don't vibe. All right. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I and I'm and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Wow, it's almost like we're at a school for prodigies. Yeah. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream. My own dream for the future dream for the future <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music you can feel that star quality aura I have right you know what I mean I'm gonna be a singer so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're all set How cool is that? this new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max I can't believe what I'm hearing I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball star. All right. Hi, I'm Saya from Arizona. I look forward to getting to know you. Whoa. Okay. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her, her name in that thread online, frankly, I was presently surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm, sur I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well... Never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I guess the check. <laughs> As for Amuro, this was the first time he'd ever he'd ever noticed the charms of a woman. <laughs> I love the Gundam dub sometimes. <sighs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Huh? How did you hear my thoughts? Uh... Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Whoopsie doodle. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Huh? Hey, by any chance. Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry, it just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Oh. Nick, they are in high school. Stop! <laughs> stop, Nick! Nick, stop! <laughs> Who is going to have to run the channel after this? Yes, exactly. Down boy. Down boy. Bad Nick. Bad Nick. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we will ever... We'll never see... It's it's not like we'll, we're never going to see each other again. It's not like we're ever going to see each other ever again, guys, right? Uh, like she said, we can talk later. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Yes, actually do that, Aqua. All right. Oh, yeah, we never examined what the door was. Hold on, let's look at the door. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a, in a secret military base or something. 
with the fool. What is that, Nick? What is that? That looks like a deep fried Puyo. <laughs> a deep fried red Puyo. <laughs> that that's so true. Why does it, why does everyone just get in a circle and say three fun facts about themselves? Just <laughs> Just like in some college classes. Oh boy. This is the, the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here, here then, though. All right. All right, we're going to go left to right. Hina. Nick, I swear, if you do this again. <laughs> Alright. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition. She's, uh... Okay. She's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an up... <laughs> yeah, you didn't say anything, but I knew what you were thinking. I knew exactly what you were thinking, and I knew exactly where it was going. So I just decided, hey, let's just nip it in the bud right here. <laughs> See? Exactly. We know what you were going to say. Slightly attractive girl appears. Everyone stares at Nick. <laughs> Man. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have... <laughs> I didn't even notice it at first. Man, I didn't even notice that. Like it just it, I I saw that and just didn't even didn't even think about what I was saying. Okay. All right, let me let me read this line again just for uh just for everybody to get the full effect. Um the combination of her ability, appearance and um proportions has been widely discussed online. Mm. Uh, well, Makoto really just said? Woman mo. <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Nagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Hmm. Um... <laughs> well... I have no idea. I'll just figure it out out later and write it down. Okay. Glad to meet you. Oh no, I know. I know it's not the woman moment we want. That's why I said it. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Oh, neat! Didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, that's Morgana. That's Morgana and um, Kisaragi from Thirteen Sentinels. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki.
Now, Steven, why did you post the eye emojis? Aqua, that'd be cool if I... If, Aqua, that'd be cool if I had played Three Houses. I haven't played Three Houses, so I don't know who that character is. Anyway. Sorry, I kind of get embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Same. Um, anyway, hope I, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh yeah. Sorry. Good point. Sorry. Okay. I was just wondering why you posted the eye emojis. Listen, I listen, I have to know if we have to bonk people, okay? You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's she's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which is, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um. Good. Hey, so listen. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? For context, I said I said good to what Aqua said. Thought I should clarify. <laughs> N no, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Okay. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Yikes. They do kind of act like middle schoolers, I'll be honest. Also, I know these characters are high schools. They're not high schoolers, no. They are high schools. Sorry, I, I do that all the time. I point out typos. It's very fun. But if... If you guys, if you don't like it, please let me know. <laughs> Hi, I know you. I remember you from the from when I played two years ago. Yo, guys, this is actually what talking to me in real life is like. It's just silence. Just complete silence the entire time. Anyway. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirige. No, not yet. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know... Her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't really have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Man, he really just said, huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. 
Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. All right, time for Junko. Hi, I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Yo, peanut butter? Pretty good. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. Man. I've seen her on tons of magazine, magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by, by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks like, <clears throat> so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. Once again, she was before on. <laughs> so many dreams are getting crushed today. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> hey Nick, you said it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Mondo Awada? Which. Huh. Which means. Armadillo Man? <laughs> He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respects, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah, uh, strong language. Wahoo, glad we're not, hey. Huh? I, well, he's not a villain, but I don't know if it is, I also don't know if it's Keith Silverstein. It is an M for mature game. Um, so, um, glad we're not streaming this on the main channel. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, if anybody ever says nice to meet you, I'm immediately gonna say hell yeah now. <laughs> I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. New people! Woo! All right, we went left to right this time, so we're gonna go right to left. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Yo, gambling time. Celestia Luden... Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It's my... It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um... You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? You don't mind. Uh, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Oh yeah, no, she's the gambler. But as I mentioned, I'd much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. Self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Oh, 
other than her obvious love of goth whoa <laughs> that was that was a bad pain in my throat i need to continue to drink water okay all right they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament earning the title queen of liars she totally cleaned out the other players taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Man. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. Okay. So, here's the thing. Uh, I'm out of water right now, so I'm gonna go get more water. Um, But also, that means you guys get to hear um or not here, you guys get to see the new BRB screen that we have for um for for the channel. Um which, you know, it's cool. Um it's cool. I made it myself, guys. Um uh, yeah, I, I made it myself. Um I hope you guys are ready for it. It's gonna be fun. Um so okay, give me give me like ten seconds. Uh, I gotta mute the uh, mute the game. I'm gonna put some music on for you guys, um, as well. Um, so all right, game is muted. Uh, all right. So are you guys ready? You guys ready? That's not the right one. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in just a minute.
Hello. I'm back. And I have a lot more water now. So hopefully, uh, I won't die while reading dialogue. All right, now let me unmute the game. Um, so I'm going to try to, to like, speed run the rest of the game. Like, not the rest of the game, but the rest of the case. Because uh, we, hold on. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to take you guys off. Be right back. Guys, I'm a terrible stream host. I can't believe it. I, I left you guys on Be Right Back for two seconds longer than I than you should have. Anyway. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay. So, like I said, I'm going to try to speed run the rest of this case. Because I, I forget how long we have left. We have actually a bit to go. Uh, we haven't gotten to the big part of the case, I'll be honest. Um, what do you mean I'm not? <laughs> we, we're not far. We're not far in this case. And we've already been streaming for almost over an hour and a half, actually. So, I plan to go for two hours. Like, I scheduled for two hours. And we have 30 minutes left, and we're not going to get far. So, without further ado, we're going to talk to this person. Hold on, i got to tap back into the game. <laughs> we gotta we got we to gotta talk to you. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate clairvoyant. Yasuhiro... Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to just stop reading. <laughs> so I'm, I'm honestly about to just stop reading because it'll go faster. Now I'm going to try to read... F I'm going to try to read faster, okay? It's going to have a lot more stutters, but we're going to see what happens. All right. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help but wonder. I can't. I can't help wondering if it's if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I'm serious. He <laughs> literally. Just, I just. I didn't even say what happened. I just. What happened? <laughs> I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. Bro just said words. That guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some br br brewskis. Yeah. But, hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into... <laughs> Man. Man. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. You know? Oh, actually, uh, I'm 21. I've been held back a few times, see? Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Okay. Sorry, something fell over. There we go. We're good. Alright, you. I know who you are. I've seen you before. Name's Byakuya Togami. Okay, there's another weird space. It's Togam E. Togam I. <laughs> yeah. Hi, um, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. There isn't really anything I can do about it. Even am among us? Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Is there a chipmunk in my room? No, there is not a chipmunk in my room. That would be Alex. Byakuya Togami. There it is again! Wait! <laughs> there it is. It's always with an I. Sometimes it's because it's it's in air. It's H E I R H E space I R. Wait, it's everywhere. <laughs> this is a this this has so many just weird weird spaces. All right. 
He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets. Oh, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. All right, cool, 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 cool. Come on. We're done with inter introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Man. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king and trainer. And you. I am Sakura Okami. No, Alex isn't the chipmunk. Man, guys, Alex, guys, Alex is a chipmunk, apparently. Man, guys, we've been, we've, we've been looking at it all wrong. There was never actually a chipmunk in Alex's room. Alex was the chipmunk in his room all along. <laughs> all right. Oh, geez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. There it is again. There's the weird sp space. I'm going to keep pointing that out every time. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Sorry about that. Uh, some call her ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the pri to the primates, the famed missing link. Man. Any incoming Hoax Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Man. Sitting in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> yeah? I snapped to attention without even realizing. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you... I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right, of, is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed ba baboons. Man, this guy is insanely, like, just mean. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> he literally just said, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I get that. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see. Uh, um. Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? What? <laughs> I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to... We were somewhere here in the school. That's about what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Whoa! <laughs> Yo, he is the ultimate meanie. Also, whoa. <laughs> Mondo, calm down. <laughs> anyway, exactly. That's where we're all freaking out. We get it. You, yeah, you're definitely freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the window, where all the windows and the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA in anywhere either. Man. Here, seeing P. <laughs> Man, that that is. It's a 2010 game, everybody. It's a 2010 game. And there's the main hall here. 
The front exit is completely blocked blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? And also, why are there guns? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Maybe we did a crime? Is it like... What, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come, come on. on, come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, you know, making us all fall asleep, bringing us to what looks to be another dimension, uh, you know, where, where everything is bolted down, there's guns everywhere. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, bud. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Really? What the hell? Huh. Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I can feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Here he comes. There he is. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. <laughs> Not the bing bong. <laughs> Couldn't help but feel a little, or but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone's someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well, if you'll, well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? You're gonna just take off like that? Could it be? Oh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. We totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, I guess, all right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap, too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I was gonna... Yep, she's gone. She's gone, guys. She, she left. All right. Yep, they're all gone. Anyway. They're gone. They're leaving. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. I guess I'll head out. It evaporates. All right, that uneasy feeling I've ha I had had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind, and it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just saying, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn uh, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Uh, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? Oh, boy. Would you look at that? Yeah, let's do it. Yahoo. Wait a minute. I just realized I played this game on January 19th, 20, uh, 2021. I'm playing this on the same day of the month that I played it the first time. Because it's, it's May 19th right now. Wow. Man. Awesome. Why is everybody here again? 
No. Yeah, we're leaving. I don't care. I don't want to talk to people anymore. I've done too much reading, guys. Too much reading. I know there's a lot to do. There's a lot of story stuff I could do, but man, I just want to get to. I just want to get to the main part of the case, man. That's all I want to do. <laughs> No, I'm not supposed to go there. That's right, I have a map. Okay, so I need to head that way. Exactly 28 months. <laughs> I am done, I'm done talking. I've talked so much. I guess this is what happens when I, you know, stream games, when I, when I do gaming, guys. <sighs> Should I go back? Should I actually? <sighs> Should I go back? Should I talk? I'm gonna let you guys decide. Should I talk to people? Or do we just wanna keep going? Well, that's the thing. I <laughs> yeah, but I... Oh, wait. I can't use the arrow keys. That's weird. I don't like that. Anyway. Um... Okay. Depending on what other people say... What is that? Oh, well. Okay. Never mind. What do you mean, what happened? <laughs> I've been I've been talking. I mean, I was silent for a second cuz I was drinking water. But I was also asking chat if I should go back to the the main hall and talk to people or should I just straight go straight to the gym? Letting chat decide. Will I make Makoto do the moonwalk? Okay, we're go all right, we go gym, guys. We go gym. Hey, come on. God. I had no idea this this Hope Speak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> that sentence just kept going on and on and on. Okay, we go gym. It really ain't that much that much different from the time I spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. You know, I realized it was literally just talking or talking again. Like, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like seriously not good? <gasps> there. They, they're just trying to spook us. They'll they'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Hmm. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared of scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it! Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Motto, stop! No running! Well then, I too shall go. Whoa! <laughs> Bro! Bro, chill! You don't gotta scream like that! Seriously! Chill! Hey, wait, don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for some more tutorial action! You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in! Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Yabagoo! 
Wow. All right. Whoa. All right. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are our ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. I already did that. I already did that. Oops. Okay. That's another TV. School has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yahoo. Man, it's the the rotate is so weird. And also the fact that they're 2D. Like they're just J, they, they are just JPEGs and they just they just get like either wide like like normal not wide but they get like just shrunk from one angle and it's really funny to me <laughs> anyway um oh wait that's right it's in bourbon okay we're gonna talk to people total silence for whatever reason she's the only one managing to stay calm or maybe i'm just imagining not nah. we love cardboard cutouts that we do where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? This is I'm bad. totally getting a bad vibe right now. Okay. All right. We go gym. We go gym. We go gym. We go gym. Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what uh, what the announcement said, and we went to... We, we, we go gym. We go gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, told ya. It's to it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Oh dear God. <laughs> there he is. Cutscene time. Finally. There's the boy. Huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Sorry, my mic was having a bit of issues there. <laughs> um, it was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It's utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety that I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? <laughs> what? What? The teddy bear can talk? <sighs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey, I told you already. Come I on now. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I am your headmaster. Say what? My man is getting shocked at every single thing. Whoa, it moved! Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, but don't make me say. I almost just bit my tongue. Oops. Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Bear? That really... You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we must... We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down. Quiet, quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? 
him. You don't have to say it back. Now then, now then let us commence, w uh, commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistakes, or make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such spl splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony, together, and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now, regarding the end, end date for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. Such is such is the school life you've been assigned. W what did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a That's second. the least of our worries now. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Uh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, land, that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls again. C cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless and with reckless. Ab okay, abandon. All right. Hey, come on. All right, come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever, whoever else is behind it, behind it all, this is just a really bad joke. D damn you! Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep lying. saying this is a lie or a joke, a bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not or whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave this school. R really? Actually, as headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, and they alone would, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. Murder? Yes, indeed. I don't think I can say all of this on stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The rest is up to you. Give it your all and all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down a chill shot down my spine. You must first 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 someone. If you ever want to leave. 
As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a, out of a human catching a salmon, huh? What? Wait, what did he just say? I didn't read. I, I read that right, huh? Like, anyway, like I said before, you guys are are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get smirch, 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 creates a dark and shadow of despair. Extreme. And I just find that so darn it's exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To smirch, 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 Each other is... It's... To smirch, 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 Each other is to smirch, 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 each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? Once again, I'm not sure if I can say all of the... If I can say that thing on stream. So that's why I'm gonna censor it with smirch, 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 smirch. Anyway... We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to smirch, 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 smirch each other? Yeah. <laughs> Man has said that four times in this entire scene. Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Oh, blabbering, hi, Monokuma. Blabbering. What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can smirch, 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 smirch as much as you want to smirch, 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 smirch. So go ahead, go on a smirch, 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 spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like. Dude, shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? J joke? Just replace... Yeah, just replace that with... Smush, 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 smush. Exactly. Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It's like the sounds of the floor, the, 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 the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I will, I will once again remind everybody there is, there is some stuff coming up, so just, just a brief reminder for some people that, that this game has some stuff that is very graphic. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He th threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. The hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. 
explosions might might happen all the time in movies or whatever. When it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. <laughs> There's another one. D damn you! You're son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now. Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school's regulations, after all. He did go kablooey. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates, m who violates my rules won't get off with just a little sweat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus. Yo, so true. Teddy from P4 is so much better than Monokuma. And plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all saw what just happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So, don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well. Now then, lastly, I have to com commem your com commemorate <laughs> your joyous entry into our school. I have a little something for you. Ta -da! This is your, our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so we naturally call it the e-handbook. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday handbook. Or notebook, oops. <clears throat> it has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school's regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school's regulations will not be tolerated. Shing! Rules, res rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have a strict punishment for in place for violators. Okay, well. Okay, well. That brings our entrance ceremony to to a close. Bye-bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! Off he goes with the cartoon sound effects. And with that, he was gone, leaving all of us in a state of shock. So, guys... How would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. Hmm? We huh? have to live here forever? Or... Shmur, shmur, shmur? <laughs> what, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one. Sorry. <coughs> there we go. Choice number one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is Indeed. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to smush, 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 smush someone, right? That's but smush, 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 smush someone, that's. We were abducted out of nowhere and stepped into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start smush, 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 my each, each other? This is... This is just... This is, what is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right, now it doesn't matter if, if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words... anyone serious, who is seriously considering all this that nobody had a response keeping quiet myself i looked around at the others they all started to stare at one another
trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I can almost taste the hostility. Bro, I don't know where where the kid's parents are. That's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within these within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must, 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 someone, if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. And we were forced to wonder, is, someone, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Hey, look, it's the intro, guys. <laughs> well, watch the intro. Because I will say, the song for the intro is pretty good. You received the school crest present. All right. So, we're coming up in two hours and 15 minutes. And I think when we get to the next story beat, it's going to be a minute. Um, But also, I just think this is a good stopping point for this stream. Um, Like... Yeah, no, this game is not is pretty messed up. Um When will I play the next one? Like the next game? Uh like Danganronpa 2 or when will the next play session be? Cuz uh I will say the next play session um the next play session will not be tomorrow. Um because I know Nick wanted to stream something tomorrow, so Nick is going to stream something tomorrow. Um but um I will say it won't be next week um because we won't be here. Uh we <laughs> we won't be here. We won't be able to stream um because we will be at Momocon. Uh so the week Danganronpa 2, uh I I, I don't know. Uh it depends on how this how these streams do cuz if they do pretty well uh, then, then we can just, uh, I guess we will play the second one. I might set it as a sub goal. I might just play it normally. I don't know. Uh, but it, it really just depends on how the streams do. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, next week we will, we won't be streaming. I don't think at all. That's my thought, but I don't know. Uh, that's a Nick question. Um, but the week after that, I will probably resume 
streaming uh, streaming this game. So, two weeks. So, two weeks uh, will be probably the next time I stream the game. Uh, and we will finish the first case then. So, I'm going to save, and I'm going to close the game, and then I'm going to... I don't have the, the stream ending screen made yet, but I can make it in, like, five seconds. So, I'm going to save the game, and I'm going to Alt F4. Uh, so, we're going to we're gonna try this. Let's hope that it does not... Um, it does not... Um, crash the stream. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you guys had fun with this stream. Um, so, I, I hope it was fun, and I hope that we can continue the streams. Because uh, I will say, I had a lot more fun playing this this time than I did the last time playing it. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to quickly Alt F4. <laughs> and there's nothing here. Uh, so, all right, as, as I said, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a stream ending screen but we can make one really fast uh hold on uh stream ending there we go guys okay um and you know what why not we'll put we'll put shinji on screen all right so i'll play some music while i'm ending the sc while i'm ending the uh the 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 stream and uh then I'll uh then then I'll see you guys in like two weeks when we when we play the game again. So all right, I'll uh I'll see you guys later. <laughs>